We're back. We're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we're going to be talking about CRI TLCI slash TLMF TM30-18. If you haven't seen episodes 95A and 95B, I highly recommend going back and watching those videos as this is a continuation of those two videos when we're using this Conic C800. So, so yeah. So we're going to start back in our main menu, which we can see CRI. And CRI stands for Color Rendering Index. Um, it's kind of an older, outdated measuring uh, tool, but you probably have seen it on the side of most manufacturers' boxes. CRI is actually based on how we see color. Uh, it's based on 15 different colors. However, some manufacturers will sometimes game the system because they'll only use the first eight colors uh, that they can fine tune and tweak to give themselves a higher score. It's kind of their way of gaming the system. While this mode is not entirely useful, it kind of can tell you if a light is worth checking out a little more in depth or not. Um, if you have a light that scores a little bit below, say, 93 or something like that, then the light's probably not worth your time. But if you get a score of 95, 96 plus, uh, then it might be worth it to do more tests. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great light, but it kind of can tell you if it's worth checking out more in depth. Backing out of that mode, we can now go into CRI comparison mode, which is pretty much like spectrum comparison mode, only you're comparing CRI colors and with only two lights, not three. Once again, tapping the box on the slot, recalling a light that you metered before and comparing all 15 colors that CRI looks at. Now I would go into TM30-18, but I believe that we should drop down one to look at another color comparison mode, which is called TLCI slash TLMF. And I only say that because this was another mode that was used to compare lights just like CRI, but instead of only looking at 15 colors as CRI does, this one actually looks at 18 colors and not by how our naked eye sees it, but how a three chip broadcast camera sees it. But again, like CRI, this measurement is kind of outdated. Once again, a lower score not being worth your time and a higher score not meaning that the light is actually good. It also has TLMF, which stands for Television Luminaire Matching Factor. This is basically like the spectrum and CRI comparison modes, but TLMF will actually rate on a scale of zero to 100 to tell you how well one light matches another's. So once again, I can upload a measurement out of my storage, then take a reading of a light and it will tell me a score based on the two lights and how close they are 100 being the closest so is it worth using no in my opinion especially when it comes to the next mode that we're going to cover back in the main menu we are going to hop back up and go to the right to find the mac daddy of measuring light which is tm30 and at the time of this recording more specifically tm30-18 tm standing for the mac daddy it's not but I wish it was. TM stands for Technical Memorandum 30 and Dash 18 just means the year that the software was updated. If your screen looks different than mine, it's because you're due for an update in your firmware or that this video has been outdated. At first glance, you could see two scores called RF and RG. RF meaning color fidelity and RG meaning color gamut. When taking a reading, TM30 will sample 99 colors. Yep. Not the 15 of CRI or 18 of TLCI, but 99 colors. From there, it will score the light from 0 to 100 in color fidelity and then score from 60 to 140 in saturation. Now, the reason that the score goes from 60 to 140 in the color gamut is because 60 to 99 will tell you that colors are undersaturated and 101 to 140 will tell you that colors are oversaturated. But if it nails 100, it means that it's perfectly saturated. This. This is the score that I wish was printed on every single box because it can't game the system like CRI can. It, it doesn't match just 15 colors, just 18 colors. It matches 99 colors. It's almost impossible to game that kind of system. Additionally, it will tell you the color temperature at red and the delta UV. You can also see a 360 degree color wheel with a black circle in it. And the red line is the light reading. And the closer that you are to that black line with the red line, the better. That black line actually represents the black body radiator or Planckian locus, a common line that you find on graphs like CIE 1931, only this time it's in a circular fashion. And it's no different. The closer your mark is to that black line, the better it is. TM30 will also show you how a color is skewing away from that line and in what direction with little arrows. So that's CRI, TLCI slash TLMF and TM30-18. Again, I really hope that we finally will see the day that TM30 just takes over the imprint on the side of the box. But, uh, but now we're gonna move on to episode 95D uh, where we're gonna talk all about SSI and kind of wrap things up. 